This is a question based on the concept of direct relations. So here we find that the speed of the train is some constant k1 minus the reduction. And we know that the reduction is directly proportional to square root of number of compartments that is fixed to the train, attached to the train. So essentially the speed of the train now becomes an equation where there are two constants k1 and k2. We need to find out what are the two constants. The first data that we know is when there are no compartments attached, the speed of the train is 42, which implies k1 must be equal to 42. So I can now write the speed of the train as 42 minus k2 into square root of n. The second data that we have is the speed of the train is 24 kilometers per hour if there are nine compartments attached, which means if I apply this in the equation, I will get 42 minus k2 into square root of 9 or k2 is equal to 6. Now we can write this equation of for s as s is equal to k1, k1 we know is 42 minus k2 that is 6 root of n. This will be the speed of the train when n represents the total number of compartments attached to the train. We need to find out what is the maximum number of compartments that can be attached to the train. So, when does s become 0? When the value of n is equal to 49. What would it mean? It would mean that the speed of the train becomes 0 when 49 compartments are attached to it, which means the train comes to a halt. The question that we need to find out what is, what is the maximum number of compartments that can be carried by the train. Obviously, we are inherently saying that the train must still move, which implies the appropriate answer is not 49, but it is actually 48. So, one less than 49, the train would still move and the speed of the train will be very close to a value equal to 0. Hence, the correct answer is B.